I'm here today with just a short tutorial about how to connect to your abdominal. Um, I think sometimes after the holidays we're starting slowly um, just to really feel into kind of what the body's been through during a restful period or a lazy period. Um, sometimes I think the inclination um, with big gyms and stuff is to go really hard and fast, but um, hopefully if you've been working with me, you know that we work a little bit more deeply and more intentionally. So finding the abdominals in a really relaxed, deeply connected way. I'm sitting on a ball on the bench because it helps me to feel my pelvic floor. And I'm just dropping into my breath. My feet are actually on a pad, so they have some feedback into the soles of my feet, which have a, a lot of neural feedback there. So feeling really grounded but aware through my feet. Um, if you have a spook mat, like an acupressure mat, that can be amazing as well. And just coming into my breath, just observing what happens as I drop in on the inhale. Just dropping into my bones, dropping into the heaviness of my body, dropping into the heaviness of the ball. And just an easy exhale, not even looking for any engagement yet. What I'm going to start adding is a gentle sense of engaging the pelvic floor over the ball. So if I'm dropping on the inhale, as I exhale, I'm just gently feeling like the pelvic floor is drawing together in and up. Nothing too aggressive yet and nothing um, very fast. So smooth and slow throughout the duration of my exhale and then a smooth, slow, controlled release as I inhale. We know from lots of research that breathing with your nose is ideal. Today I'm breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth, just because it kind of helps me keep track of my breath better when I'm not feeling the most embodied. <laughs> I've had a pretty passive couple of weeks. So. There's something also about blowing out through slightly pursed lips um, because um, the neurology of our mouth to some very vague extent mirrors the neurology of our pelvic floor. So when I purse my lips and blow out, it kind of helps my pelvic floor do that kind of pursing feeling as well. You can now start adding to the lifting of the pelvic floor a drawing in and back with your transverse abdominals, those waist abdominals, the belt, Inhale, expand, and exhale, pelvic floor comes up as the navel comes back towards the spine. To clarify, that doesn't mean I'm tucking, it just means I'm drawing my fascia backwards like a belt. And you could either do that simultaneously or pelvic floor then wait. It's really great to break down this movement and do it in isolation because eventually we want this kind of breathing in every single exercise we do, but it does take some intentional like groundwork. So I hope those cues really help me, help you and help me as well. Please do let me know and I look forward to seeing you again.